Hello and welcome to the roundup of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday 2 June 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Natasha Woodendahl unpacks the Trans-Caledon Tunnel Authority's progress on key bulk water projects. The Trans-Caledon Tunnel Authority has come a long way since being established in 1986 to fund and implement the South African portion of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project, gaining momentum on several other projects critical to South Africa's economy. The engineering news features focus on motors, drives and mechanical power transmission, where a company revolutionizes the industrial Internet of Things and predictive maintenance. The Mining Weekly features focus on materials bulk handling and logistics, where a dense media separation test plant is launched. Consulting engineers in mining, where modern skills are shared with young mining engineers. And mine planning and software, where the need for advanced slope stability technology is realized. This week's business leader is Neil Hill, president of Ford Motor Company Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, the impact of South Africa's literacy crisis will be devastating if not urgently addressed. A 2021 study shows that the percentage of grade four learners who cannot read for meaning in any language has increased to over 81%. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.